Hi everyone, our drum on page today and I'm feeling a, that I want to do something whimsical and colorful. So, I want to do a whimsical cat. I want to show you how to make it. And I've done something similar uh, some time ago. I didn't do a video because I thought it, it was very simple. This is just scrapbook paper in the background and I've done the cats and just cut them out of um, some coloring uh, pages that I had but so we are going to do something similar and I will show you how uh, I'm going to start just by putting some background I'm not using scrapbook paper for the background this time I've picked two blues to use and I don't uh, really uh, care too much about the background most of it is going to get covered the main thing will be the cat and some i think moon in the background so that's what i'm going to do so i've got here some ultramarine blue and this one that is making my uh, life hard is dark blue whatever just so i will have to shades of blue and let's pick some brush and I'm just going to do something very very quickly I'm putting the the darker color towards the outside the edges but otherwise I really don't care where everything goes and how it mixes most of it won't be uh, visible I'm going to have a large cat on my page so really don't care and as you can see I don't even care about the brush strokes so you can do the same and just less <laughs> some paint on your page not a care in the world just smearing away So I will need more paint, I can already see, not enough paint. I'm thinking maybe later on I'll do some splattering just so it won't be a solid color, but right now I'm just putting this in and so it will dry until I am prepared to put my cat and the moon on the page. Okay, so we've got some background and I can just move it aside. So we are going to do a cat and it's easier to do it on a tracing uh, paper. So that's what I'm going to use. And just a minute, just, of course I had to smear something on myself, so here we go. So depending on the um, size of your page, that's how you decide on the size of your cat. So if I have, just for example, if I have this journal and I want my cat to be this size, then I will take my page and decide from where to where I want my cat, like up to here or up to here. So it's you decide on the size that you want your cat on the page. So, but I'm not doing it on this one, I'm doing it on the one that you saw. 
on this one so I want my cat to be let's see approximately this high now I'm going to fold the page in half it's just easier to do the cat half of it and then copy the to the other side so just a pencil now uh, the other cats that you saw me do I really wanted an, a, a tall elongated a cat so that's how I went about it but you can do whatever you want if you want a chubby one go for it make it your own so how I started I started by doing the body of the cat and just by doing some this kind of shape like how do you call it like uh, in um, in bowling the pins that you need to uh, knock off that's that's what 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 guided me that was the shape that i was going for it's almost like an s so it, it should be a really a i think easy <laughs> line to do so that's what i want my cat to be but um as i this is too tall let's just and doing it on transfer paper is easier because you, first of all here you are doing the whole uh, model and the template and you can always erase and go back and change so this time i want my cat to be up to here and of course you can decide what is easier for you if you want to uh, work on the left side or on the right side whatever uh, works for you so again this is the shape i wanted and now for the head it's again some kind of a quarter of a circle until you like what you have and if you don't feel uh, comfortable doing it a uh, freehand uh, just take a round object and trace it again until you are satisfied with the shape you are getting and again I'm going to do another shape like this and let's see so we've got the head and now I'm going to do the ears and of course a any shape that I'm doing now you can change it if you don't like this shape of an ear change it do whatever feels uh, right to you and now for the eyes now all the things that I'm doing here can be changed this is just the beginning the guidelines and let's see maybe okay so I'm doing something like this and here is the middle now this is just the start now I can uh, flip it over go over the lines that I can see because of the transparency and it will give me a better idea of how the cat will look when I'm opening it and decide if I like it or if I want to change it and I like it so it works now of course a, a tail you decide which uh, to which side you want it and again it just I went with an kind of an S shape and even the tail you can change it all kinds of tails out there for cats 
<laughs> so you you want whiskers do whiskers you want them up you want them straight you just play with it and have fun until you get the cat that you want so I'm not uh, bothering right now with the uh, inside of the eye now another thing you can also do the tail to the other side and only when you get to your page that you want to trace it you decide if it's a what fits your page to the right or to the left so it's another way to go about it only when you're placing it on your art journal or canvas or whatever substrate you use you can decide if you want it to the right or to the left so this is another option and I've got my cat so now it's tracing it to my page okay let's get my page it seems like it's not dry yet so and I'm a little bit confused I'm not going to trace it to my page because I want to uh, trace it from some uh, colorful papers and today I'm using some uh, painting papers I've got this one was the was done with a gel plate and this was I don't know just smeared some leftover paint and that's what I've got I'm going to leave this aside for the time being my cat is going to be from this page now you can use whatever you want you can use painty papers you made scrapbook paper you can use <laughs> coloring pages like I showed you I used in the other page you can use the newspaper whatever it uh, floats your boat <laughs> and if you don't like whimsical don't do whimsical just uh, pick up something else that you like so I'm thinking that I want both the colors on my cat and not just turquoise or this magenta so yeah now uh, two ways for tracing this image uh, the the most uh, common one is to use a graphite paper or carbon paper or copy paper uh, all kinds of name for this and so you just place it and you trace your shape and then uh, fussy cut it another way to go about it which I use a lot lately is I'm taking a pencil like a 10b or 12b something that the, the higher the number it's a uh, darker and softer I'm flipping the image that I've made and I'm going over the lines now why am I using this is because that a lot of time this uh, really uh, leaves residue that smears and sometimes I don't care because I know that I will do the lines with some black a uh, permanent marker and sometimes uh, I don't and then it, I don't want the black smearing so when I have this in the back I can go and trace it and it will leave a faint line that you can work with I don't know if you can see but it's here so that's another and oh another way to do it is take if you have oil pastels you can go in the back and then trace it it works the same as something like this so I'm going to trace a my a cat here and I'll be back Okay, so I've got my cat and I went over the lines with a black permanent marker so it would be more defined and of course I fussy cut it. I haven't traced the nose and the eyes because I think I'll just uh, cut them from another uh, paper. So uh, basically I want my cat here and I want some kind of moon in the back. I always have round templates so I can see or trace and see 
sizes so I'm trying to figure out which size I want to do a moon uh, in the back I'm thinking let's go with this so that's the page that I want to uh, cut the moon out of and again just trying to get a from both a colors so it would be interesting and I'm also planning on stenciling on top of it so it would be has more interesting with some kind of a uh, pattern so just going to uh, trace around it and of course it will have a like the cat I will go over with some black marker for more definition good enough just so I can uh, work with it so going to fussy cut it and I'm going to come back okay so here is the moon and before this I want to do some splattering here and I'm taking a fan brush with a little bit of water and yellow acrylic paint just a little bit more water and I'm going to do something like this better to do it now it takes time for splatter to dry so here it is and moving this aside so I can work on the other stuff I'm making a mess as usual so I was going to uh, stencil on top of it and then I decided on something else I have this silicone uh, trivet and I'm going to stamp it and I'm using this distress ink barn door let's hope it will work I just want to add some pattern so it won't be a solid color I want it to be more interesting okay let's hope there is enough here and I'm just going to flip it over and press it down and I swear I didn't know it will fit <laughs> In the size, it's like I picked it on purpose. Okay. Let's see. And I've got some pattern. Yay. Okay, so now I want to add just a little bit of red here. It's just not enough, so I'm taking this makeup brush and I'm just going to go and add a little bit here I have a lot of the orange I don't have enough of the red so I'm just adding a little bit like this and just maybe I will uh, take some orange and go over the white spots I've got let's see orange I've got spiced marmalade let's take something else maybe with makeup sponge and just eh, I'm ruining the pattern I've made it smears never mind good enough I like it moving on it doesn't have to be perfect so I've got my moon and now the cat again I want a uh, to add just a little bit of um I don't know a uh, more detailing or uh, more definition and I'm going to use this uh, the 10b pencil just to do some shaded areas 
mm, not enough so I need something darker I will try and use uh, this is Stabilia all-purpose uh, pencil black it can be activated with water I'm not sure I'm going to activate it with water I'm first I want to try and just smear like this with my finger it the graphite or whatever it is is soft enough so I can uh, smear it so I'm just shading some areas and if I don't like it uh, then I will just take a brush with a little bit of water and activate it and I, that's what I'm probably going to do so a little bit of water and activating it not going for perfect just so it won't look flat okay so where else mm, maybe a little bit here don't know why <laughs> just going with it and yeah just a little bit here another way to go about it is taking a black a pencil eyeliner and smear it also an option so now I just need for the splatter on my page to dry so I can start uh, gluing my uh, images and then we'll see how we are continuing I'll be back okay here it is and I placed uh, these two haven't glued them yet I figured I want a uh, the moon to hang a little bit off uh, out of the page I will trim it later I'm just not sure if I want it like this or like this I don't know let's go like this so just going to put some glue stick in the back it's just printer paper so it doesn't need too much glue stick is enough let's see yeah good enough and let's trim Okay, next, again, this is the cat, it was done on some kind of printed uh, uh, deli paper, more of a, like a placement, a paper placement, and I've used it to do some jelly printing, which turned out fine, it's only very uh, thin so it's a uh, curling let's see I hope I'm it's in place it's a little wonky I don't know if you can see but <laughs> somehow I managed to put it 
Okay, I think now it's okay. Just and here it is. So just missed a few spots, I think. Okay, so now details, eyes and nose and let's see here is the template and i'm really not sure if i want to cut some pieces from another paper or just trace it and color it i think i'll trace it let's see Not everything is planned. I just knew I wanted to do a cat, a whimsical cat, and basically this is it. So let's put this on. Okay. Taking the permanent black marker marker and going over. Okay, so let's color. And I think I'm just going to use some uh, Posca pens, it would be easier. And let's see, white, I need white for the eyes, this one. Let's see, I'm going to use a Uniball a Signal White, a, it's like a gel pen, I don't know what to call it. I really like it, it works great. So I'm just going to try and use this to put some white in the back. Not sure it will work, as you can see, it, you can see... like brush strokes for <laughs> I don't have any other way to uh, describe it so this is not uh, great I wanted to avoid trying to work with a really thin brush and that's what I get for being lazy Okay, here we go. White acrylic paint. Okay. So we've got this, now it needs to be completely dry before I do anything on top of it. And I'm trying to eliminate too much uh, brush strokes. Well, now that it's only white, it's creepy, but I'm going to do the pupils in a minute when it's uh, dry. Maybe, let's see. I have a ruler with all kinds of circles, so maybe this will help. And again, needs to dry. <laughs> you need, I need to have patience for a drying time. I'll be back. Okay, so finished with the eyes and just uh, 
made the circles with this and the permanent black marker colored inside with green and went over the nose with a pink acrylic paint because it wasn't that great and I'm thinking that I just want to add some more details to my cat so it would be more whimsical and I'm using a Posca pen and just adding some dots i have if you can see the pattern on the gel plate a uh, print i've got some dots in circles so i figured i can add to it and i really like these two colors how it makes the cat more whimsical so that's what i'm going for don't it's not a lot but i still feel like it adds something to my cat of course I can leave it a uh, be but I wanted just a little bit more lively so let's see Almost done. Maybe just another one. Oops. You see, I don't have any patience for things to dry and then I make a mess. Okay, good enough. Or maybe not. <laughs> Just one more, I think. Okay, that's it. That's my page. I hope you liked it. I hope you will make your own really whimsical cat and have fun with it. So thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.